what are the optimal testosterone levels? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to be aiming for as a man. So by now, you probably understand the importance of testosterone levels. Testosterone is the most crucial hormone in a man's body. It makes a man happy, motivated, assertive, virtile, and much more of a man. But now I'm going to show you what you need to be aiming for in regards to your testosterone levels. So let's get into it. So the most common reference ranges for average testosterone levels seems to be around 250, 1200. In most cases, 700 nanograms per deciliter is considered high. When I check my clients' results, their doctor usually tells them, oh, your testosterone levels are fine. You don't, you don't need to worry about it. I check them. They're around 500 and 600. But according to what I know, 500 and 600 is not really, it's okay, but it's nothing to write home about. So when it comes to, you know, what about old age? Apparently when you get to the age of 30, your testosterone levels start declining. So tell me this, why does it in rural areas, men age 70, 70, have the same testosterone levels as 17, 17 year olds? In That's because people, individuals, men in rural areas, don't commit to, you know, sedentary lifestyles. They don't give up on life. They're still fighting. They still have amazing lifestyle, nutrition, training, lifestyle and supplementation. That's why. So... Individuals telling me, oh, I'm 30 years old and I need to get on TRT. It's a joke. It's a cop-out. It's a way to give up. You're already giving up. And the problem with just taking TRT is TRT is just looking at one aspect of a big picture. The reason why you have to low testosterone levels is not because something to do with your testosterone specifically. It has to do with your gut health with your stressors, with your sleeping patterns, with your micronutrient deficiencies, with your other hormones like prolactin, estrogen, dopamine, serotonin. How is an injection supposed to fix all these things? I remember when I was talking to a client of mine, he was getting recommended to get on TRT and the doctor told him, when you get on it, it's going to fix your testosterone levels, but you're not going to feel the same. It's not going to make you feel like you have higher testosterone levels. But let me show you exactly the kind of results you can see by accomplishing higher testosterone levels naturally. So if you go to my web website, Federsky.com, learn more. Like for instance, you can check this out, but this one is a very powerful one. The last couple of weeks, I have had morning wood every morning. I am way more confident and it almost feel like I, I've hit puberty again. You know that feeling when you're young, when you're just driven, you have that energy, everything just feels amazing, sound sounds better, you see better, things smell better, you're just more, you're just driven, you just, there's no such thing as depression or anxiety or being tired, you're just super optimistic. I feel so amazing, it feels like being a kid again. I have this little fire pit burning inside my stomach filled with drive, food tastes better, workouts are amazing, and I don't have to worry in the world so that's what you need to be experiencing the reason why you're depressed anxious and you're feeling the way you feel is because of your testosterone levels you're in a stressful state and when you're in a stressful state your body is on in a way to you know see if there's anything any danger that's why you're anxious you're hyper alert of stressors and then when you do get an opportunity to be in a safe environment, your body is going to go into shutdown mode and it's going to preserve energy to recover. So you're ready for the next stressor. Hence why you're going through this cycle of being anxious and stressed out or being depressed and not, and not having any energy. This is why you need to fix this. And this is super important. So when it comes to testosterone levels, 0 to 400 nanograms per deciliter this area is the zone which is called low testosterone. It's because most of the men who have all these classic signs, of, signs and symptoms of low testosterone often fall into this range. So this is the low range, right? 
And this is the area that most guys are in and they don't even realize it. I remember I was on a call with an individual and I, I can tell because I've been doing this for seven years. I was on a call for a potential client and like he didn't have his camera on. I could just hear his voice. And based on the way he talks, the way he's assertive, he's not assertive, the lack of confidence, the, the tone of his voice, I could tell what his testosterone levels are. It's crazy how it sounds, but it's just pattern recognition. I've worked with hundreds of individuals and I can just see it straight away. And at the end of the call, he goes to me, Alex, what do you think my testosterone levels are? And I'm like, probably around the 400 nanograms per deciliter range. And he's like, no way, man. And he sent me his blood results and it was buying on 400 nanograms per deciliter. And that just confirmed that I'm not crazy and that what I'm preaching is actually quite true. So next, 500 to 700 nanograms per deciliter. This area is considered to be normal testosterone. It's a range where there are usually no symptoms of, or signs of low testosterone presence and everything should function effortlessly. In some cases, you do experience some low testosterone symptoms. That's why when you see me making videos about these are the five signs of high testosterone or whatever, and you see some guy saying, oh, I experience some of them. So what does that mean? That means you don't have, you still have around 500 to 700, okay? The next we have 700 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter. This is what I like to call high testosterone. And in modern star standard, our ancestors would have double or even triple amount. And this is point where missing a morning wood erection is an, a rare event and building muscle is a joke and everything is just amazing. A lot of guys, this area is where you see all these, you know, natural influencers who have a respectable amount of muscle. Individuals like Kino Body, Brandon Carter, all these people, they're around this area because it builds their muscle, but their character is still off. But I'm going to get into that even more. So 700 to 1,000. But surprisingly enough, even if you have, let's say, 700, I have, I've had that happen before, you still need to optimize your SHBG and androgen receptor density. Imagine you're at an island and you have a million bucks with you, but you have nothing to buy. That's the same with testosterone. If you don't have any androgen receptors, you can have all the testosterone in the world, but it's not going to come into effect. You see these, let, let's say you see Olympian, uh, the guys like Ronnie Coleman or whatever in the Olympia or individuals who take steroids. When they took a bit of steroids, they see an amazing results because they had high androgen receptor density. But then you have other individuals who take steroids and they don't even look like they take steroids. And then when they tell you that they take steroids, you're like, whoa, I'm surprised you look naughty because they lack androgen receptor density. And that's one of the teachings that I teach the guys at the mastermind. So yeah, that's an important thing, optimizing your androgen receptors, lowering estrogen, optimizing your SHBG levels. Then we have over a thousand nanograms per deciliter. This is the line of optimal. And is this even possible naturally? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? You can see clients 1,200, 1,350, and now more. So it is possible and it's predictable. You can achieve it, but just like being a millionaire, every man can accomplish it, but it doesn't mean every man will accomplish it because it takes hard work and discipline. So that's my opinion on that. But this is where everything is optimal. This is where your character, your demeanor changes. You see a lot of guys around here, they have nice physique, but they still act very feminine. They're very reactive, so on and so forth. And I can tell, and I can tell a lot when a guy is faking it. Because when you have high testosterone levels, you can't fake being a masculine individual because there's going to be chinks in the armor if you're faking it. You see all these influencers oh you should have your body language like this you should talk like this and i've done a lot of programs in regards to learning self-discipline like self-development so on and so forth but i came to a conclusion when you have high testosterone levels these things come naturally because you have receptors in your brain and when testosterone binds to it it changes your demeanor how you react 
your confidence, your assertiveness, how you your posture and things like that. That's why I can tell by looking at an individual what their testosterone levels are. And most guys around here and the guys that are faking it, they usually have low testosterone levels. And it's funny. It's actually funny to see. I might make videos in the future exposing these guys because you see like usually these guys who teach masculinity that teach red pill you should be with a lot of women they're very feminine because i can see the chinks in the armor because pattern recognition right so when it comes to testosterone testosterone aids in muscle building deepening of the voice tanning of the skin this is actually very interesting i was talking to a friend of mine and he goes man i've been before when I used to be in the sun, I would go red. But now I start re listening to your advice. And now, now I'm in the sun and I just, I get tanned. So it's crazy. Because it has to do with the polyunsaturated fats in your in your muscle. When you're consuming PUFAs and it goes into your skin, when the light, due to light and heat, it oxidizes and that's why your skin goes red. Let's give you that golden bronze look. Maturation of the bone. If you're getting your bones broken often, testosterone issues, broad shoulders, and wide strong jawline. Testosterone works best during puberty, so the younger you are. That's why I love seeing guys when they're 16, 17 joining the mastermind. It's just amazing. I wish I started that young um, in your 40s. But that being said, small changes can keep on occurring into your 40s. I hate when guys out there, they... The, all they know is how to build muscle and get strong. And they try to talk about natural testosterone optimization. They don't know anything. And they try to claim, oh, boosting your testosterone levels naturally, there's no benefit to it. That's like saying training naturally, there's no benefit to it. Because when you train once, it doesn't do anything. It's what you do for a prolonged period of time. If you naturally by a few per percent increase your testosterone levels and that's on a daily basis that's going to compound over time so i, I don't i don't like agree with the natural testosterone optimization doesn't help with anything i disagree better mood energy libido confidence feeling less intimidated calm and collected all that good stuff i'm going to leave this pdf down below then when it comes to features your face Males that appear dominant, masculine, and attractive have significantly positive co correlation of grip strength, so on and so forth. There was actually a study done in which they took pictures of men and they showed it to women. And the women had to pick who they are more attracted to. And guess what? They picked the individual who had the highest testosterone levels in the group. Because women can see high testosterone. Women are biologically attracted to men with higher testosterone levels, wide shoulders, wider jawline, so on and so forth. Just like you, as a male, are biologically attracted to feminine features in a woman. Okay? If you're listening to this and you're attracted to like very like masculine women or like tomboys or whatever, you need to get your testosterone levels checked because you're going in the right wrong direction, my friend. Okay, and then the body, blah, 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 androgen receptors, all that good stuff, hair growth. I actually do, I done a video on how boosting my testosterone improved my hair line. Voice, your voice is deeper, your scent. Women can smell testosterone. Competition, you're more competitive. Integrity, less fear, more confident, increased risk taking, great, greater cognitive ability. And I can go on and go on on the benefits of high testosterone levels. And that being said, having high testosterone levels is amazing, but if it's built on the wrong foundations, it's gonna fall. And that's the mistake I made in the past. Hence why in the next video, I'm gonna go deeper into what foundations you need to have so that when you do have high testosterone levels, it doesn't backfire. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe so you don't miss any videos and yeah, See you later. Peace.